In this week's Torah portion, we read about the destruction of Stoim and Amora. These cities had become so evil and corrupt that Hashem decided to destroy them. But before proceeding with the job, Hashem first decided to inform Avram of his plans. Now just imagine a powerful king who has decided to wage war against a foreign nation, yet feels the need to inform one of his simple citizens of his intents. How honored would that citizen feel? The Almighty in his infinite wisdom had made a decision to do something. Yet he felt that it would only be right to let Avram in on his intentions. Now what did Avram do to deserve such an honor? Was it because he was the first man to find God? The one who followed God with complete faith and taught the ways of God to his generation? Perhaps it was because he passed with flying colors all the trials and tribulations that God had set before him, thereby demonstrating his commitment and total dedication to God. Luckily, in the Torah, God let us in on his thinking and why he accorded this huge honor to Avram. God said, Shall I conceal from Avram what I am planning to do? For I have cherished him because he commands his children and his household after him that they keep the ways of God, doing charity and justice. Avram was a very busy man doing the holy work of God. He was a man who took his relationship with God very seriously. Yet, what God appreciate, appreciated most was that Avram invested his main time and efforts into his family. He spent time teaching his children the ways of God, doing charity and justice. Avram realized the importance and centrality of a strong home, the institution in our lives around which everything else revolves. But he understood that quality fa family time is not enough. Avram knew that in order to ensure Jewish continuity, sleeping under the same roof and eating at the same dinner table would simply not do. His time spent with his family would have to be quality Jewish family time, allowing communication between family members to thrive, sharing values and growing together towards a common goal. He appreciated the integral place that the home has in a child's education. He was not one to outsource this sacred duty to others, letting someone else worry about his own kid's Jewish identity. It was only because of this kind of conduct and way of life that God decided to honor Avram in this most extraordinary manner. Our forefather Avram imparted to us the importance of investing in the family unit. He taught us how the Jewish home is the key to Jewish continuity. He showed us the importance of turning some of our quality time spent together into quality Jewish time spent together. Have a good Shabbos.